Well, well, well. Hello, folks. It's that time once again. Halloween. A time for horror and terrors and holiday fun. As usual, Halloween brings about the scary movies and Halloweenish type special episodes from a lot of our favorite TV series. But then you have TV shows that are centered around providing horror stories every single episode. Such as this one. Taking shape. It looks like it's on October 30th, 1990, The Tale of the Twisted Claw became the first official aired episode of this unique kids horror show on Kennedy's YTV network. This featured an opening that differed from the one we all know and love and would appear on its debut in the US two years later. On August 15, 1992, with a brand new spookier opening and as part of SNCC's new lineup on Saturday evenings, Nickelodeon aired The Tale of the Phantom Cab as one of the debut episodes in the US. This began the popular and beloved show, Are You Afraid of the Dark? <laughs> that same year, kids were introduced to horror stories via books through R.L. Stein's Goosebumps series. It was the peak of horror stories for kids and it brought terrifying nightmares and images that some of us still carry in our minds. What types of stories did they have? Stories about those who saw dead people who didn't know they were dead years before M. Night Shyamalan's twist ending in The Sixth Sense? Stories about frightening clowns or lessons about being careful what you wish for? Many of these stories were taken from public domain fairy tales, short stories, and even urban legends. Most of the stories had happy endings, or at least a happy ending for the main characters. Once in a while, the story would end with a tragic ending for the main character, thus leaving us with a sense of dread about what would happen if it happened to you or me. Now the formula for the show was simple. A group that called themselves the Midnight Society, led by Gary and then his younger brother Tucker in the revival of the show, would meet in the woods at a location with a campfire. Now this location was secret, so usually when there's a new member that joined, they would wear some sort of mask or blindfold before they would be initiated into the group. Here they would tell stories of fright and terror, especially based on their fears. Each storyteller would begin by saying the magical words Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society, I call this story Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society, I call this story Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society, I call this story Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society. I call this story. Sometimes the stories would tie in with any drama among the Midnight Society members, such as when Gary asked Sam out in The Tale of the Night Shift, or when Tucker steals a poem written by Gary in The Tale of the Crimson Clown. A number of actors got their start or at least appeared in an episode in the early years on Are You Afraid of the Dark, such as Ryan Gosling in The Tale of Station 109.1 along with Gilbert Godfrey. Jewel State of Firefly fame appeared in The Tale of the Watcher's Woods and The Tale of the Unfinished Painting. Rachel Blanchard 
was an original member of the Midnight Society for the start of the series and is mostly known for her TV career later on as Cher in the Clueless TV show and Roxanne on 7th Heaven. The most famous out of all the celebrities on Are You Afraid of the Dark is Elisha Cuthbert of The Girl Next Door and 24 fame, who played one of the final members of the Midnight Society all the way through the end and the final movie episode. These are just some of the many who came through the show. Looking back on a lot of the episodes, you can see a lot of them were fairly well done for a kid's show. Yet they lack some of the production values that would seem apparent in today's standards. As a matter of fact, the production values on the show haven't aged too well. However, the style and the style stories in the show seem to be timeless and still hold up today. A lot of the characters are still fresh in our minds. Anyone remember um, Dr. Vink or Mr. Sardo? Oh, sorry. said that wrong. That's uh, It's Sardo. No Mr. Accent on the Do. It's Sardo. No Mr. Accent on the Do. That's Sardo. No Mr. Accent on the dough. Sardo. That's Sardo. Accent on the dough. That's Sardo. No, Mister. Accent on the dough. And of course, we cannot forget Zebo the Clown, who appeared in different ways throughout a number of the episodes on the original series run. A big dummy. All in all, this series was memorable and fun back in the day. It would need a major makeover in order to be presented to audiences today. However, bringing back a family-friendly horror TV show to compete with more adult-type shows such as Supernatural or even American Horror Story would be a breath of fresh air, especially for Nickelodeon. If it were in the works, I would actually prefer to see some sort of reunion or even just a flashback episode or tribute in the year 2017 around Halloween time, which would celebrate the 25th anniversary of the debut of Are You Afraid of the Dark on SNCC. If you want to see full episodes, you can see a lot of them on YouTube. However, if you want the full collection, check out Amazon to see a lot of the seasons in its complete form. Well, as Halloween approaches, be safe. Have fun and follow a few tips. Number one, don't take rides from phantom cabs. Number two, avoid laughing in the dark and stealing Zebo's nose because he's not a fan of that. Don't listen to any dark music or anything on station 109.1. Be careful what you wish for and above all, share your stories this holiday season. Well, this is Mr. TV saying see you next time. Or maybe in your nightmares. I declare this meeting of the Midnight Society closed. Until next time, pleasant dreams, everyone.